Good morning, folks. Helio Viewer is still not updating, but we don't need it to see that our star has been fairly calm. We indeed still have a large plasma filament turning into face Earth. This solar tornado has lasted a bit longer than most do on our star. Could see an eruption soon. The previous filament we've eyed is departing at the limb. Now, despite the complete lack of solar flaring, do have a glimmer of hope today. Brand new sunspots have emerged in an earth-facing position and have bipolarity in a traditional spread. Good mixing potential today. The solar wind is utterly quiet. No shock waves or south-pointing magnetics to the stream, so Earth's magnetic shield is calm. Coronal holes. Dark. Facing Earth from the north and the south. The coronal magnetic fields are open more at the southern portion, still blocking a bit of the north and preventing all of its interplanetary fields from interacting with the Earth. Nevertheless, the stronger ones down south are indeed open to this angle of the solar system, have significant power, dominate the current hail sector, all while near Earth space is about to get a little jolt into positive influence probably later tonight. There was a significant ramp up and moderate shaking the last day. We'll note the second Earth spot rumble in the Philippines. Two days, two quakes, two X's show the locations relative to the typhoon. Couldn't get any more predictable in this part of the world. Also had one in Alaska ring into six magnitude range on a few meters before a downgrade. Also got a power low Earth spot right next to it as well. Image of the day is Mount Aso's ash cloud from Japan, courtesy of NASA's Earth Observatory. And the top article today comes from Scripps. Atmospheric river is what they think could cause the arc storms in California, where a bad one could bring weeks of rain nonstop. Two main focal points on satellite are east and west. Out west, we still see the moisture flow out of the Pacific near the U.S.-Canada border, mixing in there. But what doesn't comes way to the east with warmer air from the south, also meeting a flow out of the east, making for a convergence tonight. Bad weather in both places. Flooding in the east could be the more serious event. In Europe, you can see the remnants of the previous low and storm line convergence. Even down near Spain, you see some clear rotation. But I'm looking ahead to this powerful system still a ways offshore. You can see that's the more intense system here. Keep updated. Down under the wind drive just reveals the northern low. Precipitable water, however, tells us that's the top storm zone once again with the minor flows in precipitation areas to the south and southeast. Mobile Observatory is in San Diego today, technically La Mesa. All the details are over at observatoryproject.com. Fly on the wall was really good yesterday. Don't forget to submit any notes you wish to share from the nearly hour-long discussion. Got your current conditions and shots of our star to close at 6.35 a.m. in the east, 3.35 a.m. in California. That's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.